Hi everyone, I'm Meg Rizdahl. I'm a product manager on the Kaggle team and I'm here with one of our engineers, Andrew. Today we're going to tell you about the new suggestions feature that's coming to Kaggle's datasets platform. Hey Meg, great to be here. All right, so let's jump right into it and take a look at this data set on pizza shop toppings that you've shared with me. This is great. I love pizza, um, but I noticed that you've got a couple of typos here. Um, could you add me as an editor so that I could go in and fix those? Nice catch. But actually, any signed-in user can directly make suggestions on this public data set. No need for any other setup. Oh, cool. That sounds like a fantastic way that we can help each other improve our data sets. So let me give this a shot, because now that you mentioned that, I see this Add Suggestion button right here. I'll go ahead and click that. Fix this typo. And I will go ahead and fix this typo and say, fixing a couple of typos as my suggestion summary. And I'll go ahead and submit that. Nice. Ooh. Looks like you might have made a typo too, though. Um, you can actually view your suggestion in the suggestions tab at the top there. And uh, you can edit your pending suggestion from there. Perfect. OK, so let me go ahead and click into this. And I see the edit button right here. Great. OK. And oh, you have to excuse me. One too many Zs. All right, let me go ahead and save that. Uh, all right, it should be good to go now. Let me try to make another suggestion. Oh, hold up. So for now, to avoid spammers, we're only allowing users to create one suggestion per time on a data set. Why don't you take a look on my screen and see what it looks like from the other side. So for my suggestions tab, I can see all the pending suggestions that everyone has made on my data set. Let's look at yours. Cool. Seeing a couple of typos. Nice. Nice. Great. I'll write a review note and click approve. Nice. I can see that the change got applied. Now, something has been bothering me about this data set, and I want to make another suggestion now. Pineapple on pizza? Really? Pineapples do not belong on pizza. So let me go ahead and make one suggestion here. Pineapples uh, do not belong on pizza. Uh, and they're really the worst topping. So let me go ahead and summarize that. <laughs> okay. Gonna click submit. Done. Data set is ready. Let's make it public. Let me take a look at that. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this. Let's uh, start a thread to discuss it more. Wait, wait a minute. What is there to discuss? Pineapple is definitely not a topping. It's got the completely wrong flavor profile. For okay. Dish. Listen, tomatoes are a fruit. Pineapples are a fruit. Wait, no. Tomatoes are a fruit in a textbook. They're, not when they're on my dinner They're plate. totally a fruit. They have seeds in them. Wait, wait is an eggplant a fruit though? I mean, Who is maybe that? we should ask the community. Okay. We, that might be a good idea. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We hope you found this demo helpful. If you have any questions or opinions about pizza toppings, please feel free to ask us uh, or let us know in the comments below.